It really is incredible. The Mercury Probe Messenger has surprised us with groundbreaking new findings. The first real images reveal a harsh and hot world characterized by extreme temperature fluctuations and a fascinating crater-strewn landscape. These images offer us an unprecedented insight into the mysteries of Mercury, one of the least explored planets in our solar system. There is a good reason for this. Its proximity to the Sun and the extreme conditions associated with it make it an extremely difficult target and one of the greatest challenges for space travel. The first thing most people think of when they think of Mercury is that it is tiny compared to the other planets and must be very hot due to its proximity to the Sun. Small is true, hot too, but Mercury is nowhere near as hot and inhospitable as its neighbor Venus, which is further from the Sun. Who would have thought that tiny Mercury would hold so many secrets? Despite its small size, its radius is only around 2,440 kilometers, making Mercury a fascinating celestial body. It is the closest planet to the Sun and has a very slow rotation for reasons that are not yet fully understood. One day on Mercury, or in other words, one complete rotation around its axis takes about 59 Earth days. Mercury's orbit is also quite unusual. It orbits the Sun in just 88 Earth days, which means that a year on Mercury is actually shorter than a day. Due to its proximity to the Sun and its eccentric orbit, Mercury experiences extreme temperature fluctuations. Temperatures can reach up to 430 degrees Celsius during the day and drop to negative 180 degrees Celsius at night. Compared to Venus, this is still a bit cooler. Our neighboring planet easily reaches 460 degrees and it's several hundred thousand kilometers further away from the Sun. Venus also doesn't have such large temperature fluctuations as Mercury because it has a dense atmosphere, which leads to an extreme greenhouse effect. Mercury has almost no atmosphere, which means that it's exposed to the interplay and temperature differences between day and night. Probes have tried to get very close to this fascinating planet several times, but reaching and landing on Mercury is an enormous technical challenge. Its proximity to the Sun is a major problem, and its immense gravitational pull requires space probes that can navigate to resist the Sun's pull and instead head for tiny Mercury and enter a stable orbit. Mercury's weak gravity makes this a feat. It's difficult to gently set a probe down on the surface without it crashing or bouncing too hard. All these factors combined make Mercury missions one of the most challenging undertakings in space travel. Added to this is the extreme heat. Space probes exploring Mercury must be built to withstand the high temperatures. This requires the use of special heat shields and careful planning of the mission to minimize solar radiation. What do we know so far? In the world of the gods, Mercury is the celestial messenger. And fittingly, NASA sent its own messenger to this enigmatic planet. Messenger stands for Mercury Surface, Space, Environment, Geochemistry, and Ranging. With this groundbreaking mission, NASA achieved the feat of keeping an orbiter stable in Mercury's orbit for many years. Launched in August 2004, the probe reached the closest planet to the Sun in March 2011 after a complex journey of swing-by maneuvers around Earth, Venus, and Mercury itself. It was the first time that a space probe had entered a stable orbit around Mercury. Messenger's four-year mission was absolutely worthwhile and brought incredible discoveries. Who would have thought, for example, that water ice could exist on such a hot planet? But that's exactly what Messenger confirmed. The probe found water ice in the permanently shaded craters at Mercury's poles. This was definitely one of the most spectacular discoveries that revolutionized our idea of Mercury and possible conditions for water in the solar system. Messenger further revealed unexpectedly dynamic aspects of Mercury, signs of volcanic activity, and a complex geologic past. The mission ended in April 2015 when the probe ran out of fuel and crashed into the planet in a controlled maneuver, breaking up on its surface. Before Messenger began its journey, other probes had already visited Mercury, albeit not with the same range and depth of investigation. The first of these was Mariner 10, which flew past Mercury three times between 1974 and 1975, providing the first images. It's hard to imagine, but before Mariner 10, we had no idea what Mercury really looked like. 
The probe provided the first close-up images of Mercury's surface and discovered its weak magnetic field, a discovery no one had expected at the time. Researchers had previously assumed that Mercury could not have its own magnetic field due to its small size and slow rotation. After Messenger, Bepi Colombo is now taking over the legacy. The joint mission of the European Space Agency, ESA, and the Japanese Space Agency, JAXA, is currently on its long journey to Mercury. Launched in October 2018, this mission, named after Italian Mercury researcher Giuseppe Bepi Colombo, will deliver exciting new facts. Bepi Colombo consists of two orbiters, ESA's Mercury Planetary Orbiter, MPO, and JAXA's Mercury Magnetospheric Orbiter, MMO, will solve the remaining mysteries of Mercury and, in particular, investigate Mercury's magnetic field and its geological history and surface composition in detail. One of Bepi Colombo's most fascinating goals is to investigate the mysterious hollows on Mercury. These are small, irregular depressions that have been discovered on the surface of the planet and whose formation is still a mystery. The mission will also try to find out more about the unusual inclination of Mercury's magnetic field and why it is so strongly shifted compared to other planets. The arrival of Bepi Colombo in Mercury's orbit is planned for the end of 2025. The exploration of Mercury will not only help us to understand this single planet, every new discovery about planets in the solar system completes our knowledge of the formation and development of the entire solar system. Mercury could have once been somewhere else in the solar system and was probably pushed further and further inwards by the gravity of the gas giants. This game is still measurable at the moment and it's possible that Mercury will eventually be pushed into the Sun by Jupiter or that poor little Mercury will be pushed out of the solar system altogether. However, researchers do not see this scenario happening for many millions of years. Over Mercury by Helicopter Breathtaking Landscapes Imagine setting off on a helicopter flight over Mercury. As we fly over this fascinating landscape, the first thing we notice is the surface which is covered in craters. These craters are witnesses to countless collisions with meteorites and asteroids and tell the story of a long past with many impacts. The Mariner 10 mission, which visited Mercury in the 1970s, revealed this crater-strewn landscape for the first time. Later, the Messenger mission provided even more detailed images. We next see the so-called hollows, which are flat, irregular depressions which clearly differ from the typical craters. As our imaginary flight continues, we recognize the huge plains as evidence of past volcanic activity. It is hard to imagine, but these smooth, vast plains could once have been covered by magmatic oceans. Messenger found many clues to this volcanic history, including the composition of the surface, which is rich in magnesium and poor in iron. Further on again, we marvel at the long cliffs, known as roops, which stretch for hundreds of kilometers. These impressive structures are probably the result of the planet shrinking as it cooled and solidified. Messenger's observations confirmed that Mercury has shrunk over time. At the poles, we can see the craters, which probably contain large amounts of water ice. Despite its proximity to the sun and extreme surface temperatures, Messenger found evidence of this ice. The discovery was revolutionary and once again raised completely new questions about the path of water in our solar system. Our fictional flight over Mercury revealed a plane full of contrasts and mysteries. Mercury is a world that intoxicates our senses and is a truly breathtaking and rich world so close to the Sun. You might also think that a small planet exposed to such extreme conditions would only offer a barren, charred landscape. But that is not the case. Mercury is exciting, and who wouldn't want to explore these landscapes for themselves? On Mercury, the Sun appears as a large ball of fire in the sky. It is hard to believe that this small planet, despite its difficult location, has been able to build up such a rich and varied geological history. Mercury's surface is not only an archive of cosmic impacts, but also a testimony to complex internal processes. The large, flat plains could originate from lava flows that once emerged from the planet's interior. The discoveries of the various Mercury missions have continued to complete our picture of this planet and each mission has simultaneously raised new mysteries. Mercury may seem a desolate, inhospitable place at first glance, 
but a closer look reveals a world full of scientific treasures. The upcoming Bepi Colombo mission will undoubtedly reveal more secrets and probably bring new surprises. Exploring Mercury is like turning the pages of an old book that tells the story of our solar system. Every page we turn reveals new secrets and expands our knowledge of the world we live in. It is a journey that shows how dynamic and surprising our solar system is, and the little celestial messenger, Mercury, plays a central role. Could we land on Mercury? The idea of landing on Mercury sounds like something out of a science fiction novel. In fact, a manned mission to this closest planet to the Sun would be a challenge that goes far beyond our current technological capabilities. Mercury is a planet of extremes. With temperatures reaching up to 430 degrees Celsius during the day and dropping as low as negative 180 degrees Celsius at night, these extreme temperature fluctuations alone would make a landing and a prolonged stay on the surface a daunting task. We would have to develop spacesuits and landing vehicles that can withstand these harsh conditions. In addition, the high radiation exposure near the Sun poses an unbridgeable risk for the technology and the astronauts. A trip to Mercury would also take months or even years, and communication with Earth would be delayed due to the distance and solar interference. The gravitational conditions on Mercury and its proximity to the Sun would complicate the entry, descent, and landing maneuver. A space probe would have to reach extremely high speeds to even enter an orbit around Mercury and then land safely. Although it is certainly appealing to explore all the planets in the system up close at some point, other planets or even the moons of the ice giants will certainly receive a visit from us humans long before Mercury. Subscribe to the channel now. There are many more great videos to come.